And this is something very unusual, extremely unusual, something Sam Muchnick really didn't want to do, but Dick Murdoch demanded it. And promoter Muchnick finally agreed to honor Murdoch's wishes, even though Murdoch and Von Erich have another match coming up later this week. They're here today against one another on Wrestling at the Chase. Murdoch wanted the match. Kevin Von Erich was more than happy to accept. And that elbow found a home right on top of Murdoch's head. Murdoch complaining that Kevin Von Erich did not break cleanly. Now he has another complaint for referee Joe Tangero. Complaining about the elbow, Joe Tangero says, no, no, the elbow's perfectly legal. Murdoch's just buying time, don't kid yourself. He is a clever ring general. Kevin waits, trying to lure Murdoch out of the corner. Pulls him out finally, and now Murdoch leans into Kevin, yanks the arm over, twists the arm. Dick Murdoch with an arm bar, twisting it in the process, applying pressure. The crowd begins to yell for Kevin Von Erich. Murdoch steps over with that arm lock, making it particularly effective now. Murdoch straddling Kevin's body. He can really put on the pressure. The leverage is all his from that position. Kevin squirms around that front foot, trying to get out from underneath. Murdoch begins twisting the arm more now. Instead of pulling back, he's twisting it, but still keeping the arm stiff. The elbow driven into the shoulder of Kevin Von Erich. You know one reason Murdoch probably won this match so badly, because if he beats Kevin the day, it's going to make his chore later in the week a lot easier. Think what it'll do to the confidence of a young wrestler like Kevin Von Erich. Sure, Kevin has tremendous talent. We all know that. Great ability, great potential. But maybe Murdoch's figuring he can do something to ruin the confidence of Kevin Von Erich. He won't ruin it like that because Kevin Von Erich got the best of that exchange. And now it's Kevin Von Erich working on the left arm of Dick Murdoch. But from Murdoch's point of view, that makes sense. Knock him down a notch here. Shake his confidence. Rattle him. Have him a little shaken. I hate to say scared because that wouldn't be the right word. But still have him off balance coming into the later match. Making it that much easier. And of course Murdoch's thinking too, if he can come up with two victories in a row within one week over Kevin Von Erich, it's going to be pretty hard to deny Dick Murdoch a crack at the World Heavyweight Championship. Beat Kevin Von Erich once might do that. But twice, well, Murdoch pounds on Kevin Von Erich. And of course, there's the other point of view. What if Kevin Von Erich beats Murdoch twice? Now that's something to think about too. Murdoch digging in with the nerve clamp on both sides of the neck. Something about an all-night barbecue stand that Dick Murdoch's yelling, I couldn't catch it all. I mean, that's where he wants to go for a victory dinner afterwards. An all-night barbecue, oh, I know. He's got himself a barbecue stand I heard about. That's right. He has at least two or three fans in St. Louis. But in this studio right now, if we took a head count of who was for Von Erich and who was for Murdoch, I don't think Dick's going to win any election. What are you raising your hand for? Who are you for? Holly Hofstetter? You're for Dick Murdoch? Our stage manager. Well, Murdoch, here's what you said. Just calling the facts out as we see them. <laughs> Murdoch pulls Kevin Von Erich down. He was caught pulling hair. Now Murdoch pounds on the face of Kevin Von Erich. Kevin shaken up from that assault by Dick Murdoch. And now Murdoch digs in again with the nerve clamp. Kevin squirming around, trying to get loose from Dick Murdoch. And Murdoch again pounds on the head of Kevin. Five minutes of a lap, 15 minutes left. Kevin Von Erich pitched through the ropes and out of the ring to the first row of spectators. Murdoch grabs Kevin, and Kevin belts Murdoch right in the stomach. Murdoch with a blow to Kevin Von Erich, but Kevin saved himself from a lot of damage there by first bouncing a fist off the stomach of Murdoch. Murdoch again gets clobbered in the midsection. 
Murdoch doubled up by Kevin Von Erich. Remember the bloodlines of Kevin Von Erich. His father is named Fritz. His father has been in there with the Bruisers, the Kaniskis, the Thezas, the O'Connors, the Funks, all the great ones. And Kevin Von Erich has inherited all of that fire, all that courage, all that toughness. Murdoch hides in the corner. Pangaro begins counting on Murdoch to get him away from that corner. Murdoch complains. A picture of innocence about the fist of Kevin Von Erich. Murdoch's still not too happy. Kevin's hands are open now, though. Going to have a test of strength, we shall see. Murdoch the heavier man, but Kevin Von Erich puts those fingers back and Murdoch cries out. Kevin Von Erich right now winning the test of strength. Look at those arms on Kevin Von Erich. Look at the biceps, the shoulders, the forearms, his bold. Is it any wonder that right now Kevin Von Erich is winning this test of strength? Murdoch gets to a standing position and is tied with a drop kick. Knee drop to the shoulder by Kevin Von Erich. Flying elbow drop, nails Murdoch to the mat. Kevin Von Erich brings Murdoch to his feet. Oh, he went for the flying mare. Murdoch spotted that rib cage open and now Murdoch pulls back on the mouth and nose of Kevin Von Erich and yanks back on the nose. Kevin staggered. Murdoch grabs Kevin by the hair and slams Von Erich's head into the top turnbuckle. Flying mare by Murdoch. Elbow drop by Murdoch. That was the same elbow drop that Murdoch used a few weeks back to defeat Bobo Brazil. Count of one. It does not defeat Kevin Von Erich here. Murdoch coming in cautiously. And well, he did because Kevin, while he's taking a few lumps here in the last minute or so, was waiting. Murdoch, very cool, keeping his head. Experience counts. Don't kid yourself. And don't kid yourself that Kevin Von Erich's got a lot more than his tender years would indicate. Don't forget, he's been on a mat ever since he was six or seven years old with his father, with his brothers, with many of the top wrestlers who passed through Texas. Kevin Von Erich would Shanghai those guys and say, hey, I've got a couple kids here. I think they have the ability. Would you work with them for a while? And they would, some of them. Abdominal stretch. Hey, Kevin Von Erich with the abdominal stretch on Murdoch right in the middle of the ring. Right in the middle of the ring. Will Murdoch concede Kevin? Pulling back, stretching out the arm, stretching the back. Kevin with the abdominal stretch. Murdoch trying to pull the hand off the neck, grabs the hair, and manages to break up the abdominal stretch, but Kevin stays on Murdoch. Could roll him into a pin position, but not there. They're right in the ropes. Oh, Kevin Von Erich, like lightning. Like lightning, Kevin Von Erich had that abdominal stretch on Murdoch right in the middle of the ring. And now Murdoch takes a slow walk on the floor. He has a 20 count, and it would not be surprising to see Murdoch use a good 17 or 18 of that 20. Dick Murdoch taking full advantage of that count. Murdoch complaining because Kevin Von Erich's so close. He crawls cautiously through those ropes. Dick Murdoch. Tumultuous, turbulent, controversial, they all fit for Dick Murdoch. Knee lift to the stomach by Murdoch and then a hard pop to the back by Murdoch. Kevin fights back. Hard uppercut by Murdoch, knocks Von Eric to the corner. Another uppercut by Dick Murdoch and Tangaro is incensed with Murdoch. 10 minutes have expired, 10 minutes left. 10 minutes have passed, there are 10 minutes remaining. Murdoch going for the suplex, his Texas Brain Buster, as he calls it. The suplex, the Brain Buster, whatever you want to call it. There it is, the suplex by Dick Murdoch. This could, oh no, hey! Kevin survived the Texas Brain Buster of Murdoch. He kicked Murdoch off, and he didn't even wait to the count of two. Murdoch with an elbow to the neck of Kevin Von Erich. Oh, going for the pile driver. 
Going for the power. Oh, hey, Kevin blocked it. Kevin blocked it. Beautiful use of balance by Kevin Von Erich, and then he flipped Murdoch over the top. A kick to the head by Kevin Von Erich. Kevin with a punch right to the top of Murdoch's head. Drop kick by Kevin Von Erich. Murdoch seems shaken. I think he was stunned more than anything that his suplex, his Texas brain buster, did not do the job. Kevin hits the ropes, giant splash. Oh, no. Right into the upraised knees of Murdoch. Right into those upraised knees. Kevin landing full force with his stomach across those knees. That could be the break Murdoch wanted. This could be it. Kevin Von Erich's giant splash backfiring. Murdoch stomping on the jaw of Kevin Von Erich. Kevin gasping, trying to get wind. Murdoch moving behind Kevin Von Erich, goes for the atomic knee drop. Kevin blocked it. Kevin stiffened those legs. He has a claw. Kevin has a claw. The iron claw on Dick Murdoch. Kevin Von Erich blocked the atomic knee drop. Kevin with the claw on Murdoch. Murdoch trying to pull the hand off, trying to pull the claw away. He can't do it. Murdoch trying to pull that claw off of his forehead. He can't do it. Kevin Von Erich with the iron claw on Dick Murdoch. Kevin surviving the giant splash backfire, surviving the Texas Brain Buster. Now it's Kevin with the claw on Murdoch. Murdoch beginning to sag down to the mat. Murdoch down, the shoulders down. The referee counts one, counts two. Murdoch gets that shoulder up. Murdoch, in desperation, managed to lift that shoulder. Murdoch to the ropes. Oh, Murdoch tangled up with Kevin Von Erich. Kevin went sailing over the top rope, 10 foot high above the concrete floor. Kevin with a punch to Murdoch's stomach. Murdoch, even groggy and pain, he's looking around, he's dazed, he's looking for Kevin, finds him. Murdoch slams Kevin's head into the top turnbuckle. Murdoch, a bit desperate right now, I think. He grabs one of the microphone cables. Murdoch with a microphone cable going after Kevin Von Erich. Murdoch with that microphone cable around the neck of Von Erich. Von Erich claps on the claw again. Von Erich claps on the claw again. Murdoch turns loose of the cable as the claw takes some more of its toll on Dick Murdoch. Kevin Von Erich crawling over those ropes to get into the ring on top of Murdoch. The claw, the iron claw, puts Murdoch down. Can Kevin keep him there, though? Murdoch will never give up. I'll guarantee you that. Murdoch will never quit. But if he's unconscious, he'll have no choice. Kevin Von Erich with the claw, the crowd standing, screaming. Here comes Bulldog Brown. Bulldog Brown, who was Murdoch's partner last week, came running into the ring. He attacks Kevin Von Erich, the referee calling for the bell. Brown all over Kevin Von Erich. It was obviously, it was a cinch at the iron claw. Here comes Kaniski. Here comes G. Kaniski. Kaniski after Brown. Doting Arrow calling for some help. We have a riot on our hands. Kaniski and Brown. Von Erich and Murdoch. Brown pitched to the ropes. Kaniski nails him with a chop to the throat. Kaniski coming to help Kevin Von Erich against Murdoch. Dangaro almost powerless to break up this brawl. Here comes Ron McFarlane to try and help restore order. Here comes Rock Hunter, who's on the card later in the day. We are having a brawl. Referee Lee Warren trying to pull Von Erich. Murdoch, here comes George Wells. Here comes Bruce Reed. Bulldog Brown has left, but Kaniski, Von Erich, Murdoch are all tangled up. Reed and Wells trying to calm down Von Erich. Von Erich gone berserk, so has Murdoch.